case. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to go ahead and check in? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, Yeah, take take a minute to just take care of the space or whatever you need for the space to do, do. what I need to do. Yes. And maybe make sure you have like water and a towel. I do have water. Yes. And yes, I have everything I need, I think. Okay, great. <sighs> okay, so I will go first just checking myself in. My name is Dor. I am right now in Copenhagen. I'm an adventurer, so I'm on my adventure right now, going around Europe in the last month and a half and I'm exploring new, new possibilities of being. Mm -hmm. And I, in the last year, I, I was holding a lot of spaces for possibility management, rage clubs, and now I'm kind of shifting to, to do something else. I mean, I'm not doing a, a lot of online stuff right now. It's mostly traveling and meeting people and maybe creating stuff offline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Possibility management kind of stuff, you mean? Yeah, I mean, I got to do a workshop in Netherlands and and some like a lot of conversation and I was in the gen in the gathering and mm -hmm. we, you did go yeah and I was uh, I think I don't know I feel I created some some spaces while in conversation not really anything organized ah was it uh, did you make the great connections during during this gen yeah. I'm this in a way because that sounded amazing. Thank you. You you want to you go want to share something for two minutes, uh, and then we can start with the emotional yes, process. Yes, thank you. Um. So Anya, I'm currently in. Mexico. How do you say your name? And I have been Jania. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I saying your name right? Try in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've mentioned it a couple of times, so I thought you would pick up. Um, I'm in Mexico. I have here for about ten months. I'm currently looking to join an intentional community that is practicing permaculture and bioconstruction and preferably also is practicing possibility management. Um, that's an ideal scenario. I'm still in the look for that. Um, I'm in the meanwhile, I'm uh, uh, possibility management is quite new for me. I just started, um, I just had my first ETB and my first lab here in Max with Vera and then lab was with Clinton and Anne Chloe. So since then, in a way, I'm uh, digging it and trying to get more involved, but I don't have a community with me. Um, line that is practice and possibility management. So I'm relying a lot on uh, Telegram groups, but the problem is I'm in Mexico and the internet is not very real. So uh, my process is going a lot slower than I would like it to go. And I have um, 
a lot of fear about that usually, but I'm not going as fast as I would like to go. Um, but meanwhile, I'm also teaching various workshops related mostly to yoga. And I uh, currently invested in learning more about PM and culture and the Tesla communities. Thank right, you. Thank you. All right, so I propose we start the healing process with a short centering process. Mm -hmm. So do you want to do it yourself or you want to go through it together? I can do myself, yeah. Okay, so just take a minute and center yourself. Right, I also created a golden cube for the work that we're gonna do here energetically in the space. It has a black rounding cord and I invite into the space the bright principles of love, connection, clarity, possibility, and adventure. Hmm. All right, Jenya, what can I do for you today? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm experiencing an emotion of sadness. Um, Related to to a friend with whom I no longer have connection, and um, this emotion about a year long, and it's getting triggered usually when we do get to catch up, and, and I guess today. I feel a lot of sadness because we have this connection anymore, but we cannot be physically present anymore. And because um, our lives are going separate ways. So I have a lot of sadness about that. And I think there's perhaps something even deeper because um, it's a year long for an emotion. Yeah, don't go to your head. You're, and, you're doing great. Just close your eyes and be with the sadness that you just described. Yeah. And I heard you feel sad. Yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah, let the voices out. <sighs> You're doing great. I heard you said because this connection that you had with your friend, it, it doesn't longer exist. And it seems like something is changing in your relationship. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, it's it. Um, I'm sad because the relationship is changing and I I have sadness, but uh, we are more in the opposite sides, uh, um, in opposite directions. And and I feel and I feel very sad about that. You're going in, in different direct in opposite directions and you feel sad about that. Um yes, we are um more of um, 
uh, parts and ways more when we go in separate directions, more getting established in our lives and um, creating less, less, less for each other. And, um, and I'm grieving this connection because- um, Stay with the feelings. You're going up to your head a little bit. Just go down and stay with the feeling. Yeah. Let the sadness get bigger. <laughs> yeah. Jenny, it looks like there's another another emotion there. Can you recognize it? Um, maybe there is a little bit of fear. I'm. Uh, yeah. Maybe there is a little bit of fear. There, there is a fear. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit it's, of fear because. What is the fear about? Um, I fear about, um, I guess, losing this connection um, for, uh, I, I guess I have a fear of losing this connection. Yeah, you have fear about losing this connection. And I have a fear of uh, saving this connection because I don't know how much I can offer this connection. Can you repeat that? Um, I'm afraid to lose this connection. And I'm also have a fear of saving this connection because I don't know how much I can offer to this relationship. Mm. So you have fear to lose this connection, but also to save it because you don't know what you can offer to this relationship anymore. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Jenna, you're doing this thing where you're opening your eyes, and that blocks you from feeling. You see, you're just doing it now. So keep your yes. eyes closed. It's going to help you to stay with the feeling. Okay. You're, do you're doing great. Just go to the fear and let your body feel the fear a little bit more. It's, it's in 5%. Oh. What are the words? I I have so much fear about it's yeah. it's big it's not big but I I hope sadness and fear I feel so sad about about what happened with this connection about our chip and I feel sad but. It yeah. failed. It failed. <laughs> but um, I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't have tools to to navigate. But you, you didn't have tools to navigate. <laughs> to navigate. Um, to navigate the times and and. Um, my only, 
<laughs> and my, my decision was to just abandon it, <laughs> to, to not invest in it anymore. And yeah, it's <laughs> Daniel, you're blocking right now the feeling. Let the feelings come up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So Tanya, I, I see there is a there is a big sadness there, and, and there's another uh, feeling that you're mixing in there when you're going into the sadness, and it's blocking you from feel the sadness. Do you know what feeling is that? Oh, uh, but feeling that I'm mixing with sadness. Yes. I maybe fear. Yeah, so it's it's not a fear. The fear is you. You don't also fear, but it's a different feeling. Uh, I I well, it's not. I don't think it's joy, but um, I don't really resonate with anger. Okay. Much. I I let's I can we do a little experiment? Can you take the sadness and put it on the shelf on your right. Just put the sadness, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's big, yeah. Yeah, and, and if there is any a little bit of fear, take the fear and also put it on a shelf to your left side. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing great. And so, so you have your friend and the relationship is about to end and you don't know if to save it or to let it go. You don't know if you have anything to offer anymore to this relationship. Yes. I, I, um, it is, uh, yeah, that it is wait. you're doing this thing with your hand when you you putting it on your hair and there is a there is a feeling there. Yeah, that. Yeah, and you're you're blowing it out now. Am I am I I'm not sure if I'm feeling anger. I maybe a little bit. Maybe I do feel a little bit of anger. I'm, I'm going to try to ask you a question. It's okay. Uh huh. Why are you angry at your friend? Why am I angry? Perhaps um, I I think I'm I feel a little angry. Because I'm still, after one year, I haven't, I haven't missed emotions. Um, and I'm angry, I put, uh, I, I can't close the circle. Yeah. Yeah. Let the 
Let the feeling speak. Yeah, you're blowing it out. Yeah, that. Let the anger get bigger. Use your towel. Twist your towel. Oh. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Okay, what is the anger about? <laughs> the anger is about but I still keep these feelings inside me and I I can't let go, I can't release it. <sighs> you you still keep you're angry because you're still keeping the feelings inside of you and you can't release them. I, but I, I have this emotion still, uh, emotion, not feeling. Yeah, Emotions, yeah. and I still can't release it. I still can't let it go. I still can't clear myself out of it. I still can't an end to that. Yeah, can you go a layer deeper? What is the anger about? Yeah, that. Oh, but I let the situation go as bad as it did go. Yeah. You let the situation go bad as it is. As bad as it went. As bad as it happened. Yeah, you're angry that you let the situation go as bad as it happened. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I know that, like, there is. I, I can I can feel I can't access it yet. I can't understand all these uh, these emotions are so strong and I can't uh, yeah Jenny, I can't you're understand really to, exactly. You're trying to understand them with your head right now. It's not gonna work. These feelings are not for your head. It's you're just not gonna give you any yeah. wisdom. Just stay with the feeling right now. Don't try to under you just blew them out. You're just like Ugh. you just keep keep your center a little bit down, closer to your center to your heart, and and see what the feelings are there. You know, I heard you were angry because you let the situation go like the way it did. In what ways did you do that? Um Yeah, when you're saying how many are going into your head, just lower your head a bit because when your head is going up, when you're tilted your head up, it's you're going to your head straight away. Feel sad, feel fear, feel a little bit of anger. Um, because... I'm trying to access the information. Okay, you feel anger because? Just say I feel angry because. I feel anger because. I feel I feel fear because I'm 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 afraid to face my responsibility for for creating this for creating this state of uh, for, for creating the situation that I found myself in this relationship. And uh, yeah, wait, Jenny, 
you're you're doing this thing that you're you're feeling something and immediately you go back with your body and you tilt your head back and you touch your hair and you start to to block the feeling and those feelings are big but you it's not going to work if you block them and I, and I know you can do that you yeah you probably felt them yes. as big before Yes. Yes. Yeah. So go there. Start speaking. Uh, and don't stop speaking. If it's from your fear. I have. A, I have. Anger. I have a fear of. I have a my friend. I fear. I. I have a fear of him. I don't know. I. I don't know why. I have a. Yeah. I'm scared of him. Yes. Um, and, <laughs> yes. Scared of him. You don't know why, but you hear from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take your chin a bit down and, and feel the sadness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, let the sadness be It looks like the sadness is mixed with fear. Where do you feel these yes. feelings are mixed in your body? <sighs> Here in my throat, my chest. Okay. You want to unmix them right now? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Have you already done it before? Uh -huh. Have you already unmixed your feelings before? Yes. Okay, yes, okay. I have. Okay, great. Uh -huh. So use your energetic hands and you go all the way deep into your... Don't do it yet. Yeah. It's, so when you go all the way deep, you grab that mixed fear and sadness and whatever else is there and you unmix it like you unmix a spaghetti and you pull it out and you use your voice <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah and pull it outside your outside your body Yes, yeah, so you use uh, both of the, the hands. Of, you you use both of your hands at the same time, and you pull it out at the same time. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Yes, yeah, so to go pull both my sadness and fear at the same time. Yes, pull both of them at the same time and separate them with your hands, like you're separating spaghetti or something. Yeah, and, and you can open your eyes for a second and look at me. You're doing it like this. And you pull in your hand, hands apart outside your your bubble. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Grab that all the way from inside. The figure oh. all the way. Yes. Oh. Yeah, and pull oh. it apart. Yeah, get them outside your bubble. No, don't put it down yet. What do you have on your right hand? Sadness. Okay, so put it on your right side in, an, in a sadness pile. Oh. What do you have on your left side? Fear. Okay, so put it on the left side. 
in a pile. Okay. You know, scan your body, see if there's any more layers of that. Yes, there is more sadness and fear still. So. Okay. So use both of your hands together. Yeah, and like this, and you go all the way in. And once once the energetic fingers go in, you go all the way and you pull it out from the place that it hurts. Yeah. Oh. Use your voice. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All the way from the roots. Oh. Pull it out. Oh. Yeah, and separate them. Separate. Oh. Yeah. Sadness. Fear. Okay, you're doing great. Um, it feels it's okay now. Okay. So, so there's no more layers right now. Uh, I I have a little bit of sadness left, but I think it's just sadness. Okay. So I, I propose you go for the sadness as well with both of your hands and just grab the sadness from there and put it on the pile. Just from that layer to check. <sighs> yeah, what's in there? There is sadness in here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, just just take it out because my might be <sighs> mix there. <laughs> yeah, no. pull both of your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and put it on the side. <sighs> Great. Yeah, you're doing great. We're gonna we're gonna take back those piles and put them back where they belong in your body. Yeah. Okay. So which one do you go for first? Uh sadness. Okay. So use use your energetic ends and go to the sadness. Yeah, and put it in your liquid. Try to find some place in your body that you bring it back into your body from. I shall i do where i found it no or shall i find a new place for that no, no the the new place is your liquid all over the body for the sadness so your tears your urinal system your blood but it just have to come in from a certain area so maybe it's from your face or from other place but you just put it in and let it go into your your liquid <sighs> I'm gonna put it in um, my my heart. Okay, but let make sure that it goes to your liquid in your body, not to your heart. Uh huh. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't have to blow it out. You can feel the sadness. That's where the sadness belongs. Yeah. Yeah. Can you ask your sadness, sadness, do you have anything for me? Sadness, do you have anything for me? What does it say? Um, I'm only here when I'm just. Yeah, try without the um. Try but what? Without saying um before you speak. And this is telling me, but there's just a lot of grief. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of grief. What is the grief about? <laughs> about losing. About losing this connection. About. Losing this stage of joy and closeness and physical closeness. Yeah. And take it to, to a new level, but is just not as good as an old one. Yeah. You're doing great. I hear you feel sadness. <laughs> I hear you feel sadness because of griefing for the, the old relationship that has to go away and you lose like the joy that was there <laughs> the new one was not going to be good enough yes yeah, yeah this sentence has a lot of wisdom for you it says it tells you that you need maybe some time to grieve the old relationship. <sighs> yeah, Jenny, you're doing great. Are you ready to take the other pile back? The pile of fear. Yes. Fear. Yeah. So you use your energetic hands with your fear to grab the pile of fear and put it in through some hole to get it in into your nervous system. So your fear is part of your nervous system. Yeah, and try not to blow it out with your mouth. Because your body might want to speak the fear. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. And feel the fear in your nervous system.
Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes, go. Can you ask the fear, Jenny, what fear, what do you have for me? What fear it calls me? I, I fear, but I will not forgive myself for The responsibility I I had to with, with the destruction of this connection and a fear of my friend's anger and fear and he said this I I have a I have fear about uh Facing, facing it. So I hear you have fear about about the responsibility you have in ending this relationship, and you have fear about his anger, also. Uh, yes, I feel I I I my it's uh, my fear is more um, about the guilt, my guilt. Okay. And about, I fear the emotions I brought to to him. I fear, I fear that, I fear that I cannot have, uh, I cannot step through his door and I, I can't take a step back. Okay, you fear that you go into the door and you cannot take a step back. And you fear of the guilt. I fear the guilt and I fear... I fear... that I... I'm staying behind on this path. But he, he was able to move on and find tools to help himself um, to to be better, to be confident and mortal and and he left this story behind and uh, I have a fear but I'm still in it and we can't we can't beat each other anymore at the same space, at the same space of uh, sadness and drama. And... So you have fear that he's, he's going to continue somewhere else and he's going to learn to be confident and all of this and then you won't be able to meet each other again with sadness. Uh, but um, no, I guess uh, it's uh, about not being... Yeah, is it... My fear is to be still, but I'm still in it, but I'm still in this swamp, um, but alone now. And um, instead of at least two people in the same swamp. Mm. And um, I have a fear that I, I, uh, But I can't get out of it. But I can't come finish the story. But I can't uh, complete it. Um, 
I have a fear. I'm in it alone now. Yes. <sighs> you have fear to stay alone in the swamp. And that you will not be able to complete something. Yes. Hey. Jenny, I want you to use yes. your clicker now to go back to the first time you felt this feeling of fear that you're that you're gonna stay alone, that you're not gonna be able to complete something, and that someone is gonna get angry at you or is gonna leave you. Yeah, and use your clicker and, and go back energetically to the first time you remember this happened, this feeling. Yeah, just click it, it's gonna come. Okay. Yeah, what is going on? Um. Without the um. I'm, I just, uh, um, I just feel, um, uh, alone in all this. I was, uh, I feel, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask you for questions in this memory yes. you're in right now. How old are you? Uh, 11. Okay, are you inside or outside? Inside of my room, yes. Okay, so you're inside your room. Is it daytime or nighttime? Daytime. It's daytime and, and who's with you in the room? I'm alone, I'm alone. Uh, I'm, I'm alone. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, I'm, uh, this is my feeling of, um, being in fear and observing uh, over here that that is happening outside of my uh, outside of the door I can't understand uh, yeah you're trying to understand I, it. I, it it looks like you're trying to understand it but maybe it doesn't make any sense uh, yes uh, can you start I, from the feeling? I, what do you feel I feel fear because I feel sadness because I feel I feel fear because I feel fear because um there is a lot of um, anger and a lot of fear and a lot of sadness uh, happening outside of uh, my my room outside um, and and I'm uh, and I want to be not noticed. I want to be like not touched. I wanted to uh, I wanted to um, not affect me. I want I want to be peace and. Uh, yeah, let the fear and grow just... bigger. <laughs> yeah, let the fear grow bigger all the way. Yeah, let your whole body feel. Not about screaming, just let your body feel in your nervous system. <coughs> yeah. Uh, 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 I feel fear, but it's, like it's gonna come to me, but it's gonna come up. Uh, but yeah. someone else is 
anger and uh, first and, and anger and despair is gonna come to me and it's gonna uh, harass me and uh, and I I I just want to lay low so it's uh, because that would save me that would save me harassment. Yeah, I hear that you have fear because outside of your room, there's all these big emotions, there's anger, and there's something that can harass you and you're just trying to lay low. Yes, uh, it's because of uh, my hysterical... Trying to not touch your head anymore. Yeah, yeah, if I, if this energy of hysteria and anger and despair is going to come into my room, uh, she's going to start harassing me. And, um, and I just want to be unnoticed. I just want uh, to lay low. So, uh, so, so you, but. So there's this, uh, you, you fear this emotions of hysteria. And and if she's gonna come into your room, who's she? My mother. So she have despair. She has emotions of despair and hysteria, and she's gonna start yes. to mess you. Yes. Yes, she's gonna bring her emotions onto me, and uh, and I don't want to do anything with this. Okay, why she's gonna do that? Why she's gonna bring their her emotion into your room? Because uh, she she always does it. She she brings um, she she's going really high in her emotions, and then she uh, she find to even manipulate me to do things. That I don't want to do, or um, to just release, unleash all her extreme ninety-five percent of anger, extreme ninety-five percent of fear, and extreme ninety-nine percent of sadness on me. Um, and then I'm not, I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to get. I, I'm scared of this. I'm. And I can't react. I can't express my own sadness or anger or fear because it's going to make it only worse. Yeah, so you feel fear because she's going to release an extreme form of emotion on you, or anger, but in extreme unconscious way. And, and you cannot do anything about it. You cannot use your own feelings. Yes. Okay. Yeah, don't open your eyes. What is the feeling right now that you have? Fear. I have fear. Ah. So, so Jenny, when you feel fear and you go into scream into the towel, you actually mix in another feeling there. And I think you're using fear to block that feeling that you actually feel. Uh, anger. Yes. What are you angry about? I'm, I'm, I'm angry about other people releasing their emotions on me unconsciously. Yes, you're angry and I can't protect people myself. releasing their emotions on you unconsciously. Uh, I'm angry, but uh, I can, I can, protect myself. I'm angry because this mechanism is disabled. 
Yeah, you're angry because you cannot protect yourself because this mechanism is disabled. Yes. Hey. You're doing great. Anything more that you're angry about? Uh, what did you say? Are you, what else are you angry about? Is there anything more you're angry about? Like if it would be me, I would just be angry that someone is going into my room with all their shit. That someone yes. is invading my space. Yes, I'm angry about that. I'm angry about uh, people invading my space, but people are uh, not unconsciously facing their feelings on me and- uh, Go! Stop touching your uh, face and go to your anger. Uh, yes, go! Yes! Go! What are the words? I'm angry. Go! For you unloading your emotions at me. Yes, you're angry that they're I'm, unloading I'm their emotions angry. on you. I'm angry because you've taken advantage of your anger and your fear of me not being able to express my anger. Yes. <laughs> Go. Uh, You're angry that they're manipulating you well. They're using, they can use their anger and you cannot use your anger and they're taking advantage of that. Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry about this manipulation. Angry. Uh, Go. Yes, go. Yes. Yeah, you're doing great. <sighs> Jenya, when you were 11 years old, you were at your room and, and your mother was about to do the same thing she always does, to invade your space, to manipulate you. She knows she you you need to be a good girl and you cannot use your anger and she can use her anger on you and she can just unleash all these extreme emotions on you. And and you, until today, you, like, whatever, it, it saved your life to, to accept that. To just be okay with it and push your anger inside, it, it saved your life. So you did an honorable thing because you decided to grow and, and stay alive. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it saved my life. Yeah, so it was an honorable thing to do, to choose living. Uh, yes. Thank, thank you for choosing to, to stay alive. Yes. You right now, in the beginning of this healing process, you told me that still you're afraid of of someone anger someone using their feelings and it sounds like you're this decision that you make doesn't serve you anymore it doesn't okay so are you ready to use your anger for something else yes okay great are you do you know how to put boundaries Yes, I'm going to use my anger to, to 
to make a statement. Okay, what I want you to do right now is take 20 seconds and going back to your room and sit with yourself when you're 11 years old. Just sit with yourself for 20 seconds and see whatever this girl really needs to do right now. Just just be with her for 20 to 30 seconds, okay? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now you're an adult. You have different purpose to your life. What are you gonna do? Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my anger to stay to say stop. Say stop to I'm who? I'm gonna use. What's that? You're gonna say stop to who? Uh, I'm gonna use my to, to stop to those who are trying to use my energetic space. Who's Who those? Are... There, there's no those. You're 11 years old. And there's one person that is about to go into your room. And do the same I'm gonna, thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my mother. Uh, I'm going to tell my mother. But she can no longer do this to me. But okay. she can no longer abuse Project her views. Okay, so the boundary, uh, uh, the boundary is about you. You're, the way to put boundaries, this is, this doesn't work for me anymore. This is my room. You don't bring your shit into your room. You're not doing this. If you do this next time, this is what I'm going to do to you. And you remember you're an adult now. So you're not a girl. You, yeah. If someone is fucking with you, there's consequences. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. So yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna role play your mother. Okay, so I'm gonna click okay. my clicker. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna be your mother, so you can put a boundary. And we're gonna. Uh -huh. Okay, we, we might do it twice. So I'm going to I'm going to start when I turn around, you go and put your boundary. Ready? Okay. Come on, Jenia. Ah, you can no you can you can no longer abuse your power. You can no longer come in into my room of your shit. You can no longer unleash your on me. You can no longer harass me for any for anything of your interest. <sighs> You no longer harass me. You can no longer manipulate me. You can no longer have any control over me. Okay, so there was 
there was another emotions coming up. You want to share what happened? Well, there was there was something coming and stopping you from from saying something. You're like, I fear. Um, uh, it's a lot of fear. Uh, yeah. Fear because a lot of fear. Uh, fear because it's has a, it was not sexist. Fear that resistance is um that resistance is actually going to bring more harm. Yeah. Yeah. When you're when you're a child, I bet this fear was very was very big and very real because there was consequences. Yes. So so right now you you still feel the fear, but you use it. You use your fear to to let you know what to say. And one thing about the boundary is not about what they cannot do. You said you will not do this anymore. You will not do you cannot do this. It's not about this. The boundary is about you. This is my space. This is my room. Here, nobody talks to me like this. Nobody's doing this. If you do this, these are the consequences. If you keep speaking to me like this, I fucking kick you out. Uh -huh. The boundary is about you. You start from your space, about yourself, what is not happening in your space, and then what are the consequences? Yes. You want to try yes. again? Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on, Jania, let's go. This is my room. This is my room and no one talking to me like that here. No one is allowed to speak to me the, the emotions I'm not inviting. This is my room and you can bring your energy in here. If you bring the energy I'm not ready for, you're gonna be kicked out. This is my space and you are not allowed here with your shit that I haven't been invited. Okay. That was great. It was that was great. It was very clear. You you seen how I went back a little bit? Is it's I felt a little bit of your anger. But I think you need to use a lot more anger for this. Forget about the word for now. Just like use a lot more anger. So your mother would fucking get out of the room. Okay. Right now it was the boundary, but it was like a boundary. Now it's nice. Tomorrow I'm going to cross it. But it needs to be a fucking boundary. So use a lot more anger. I think you can do it. Yeah. You're great. I'm, I'm going to go again. Ready? Um, yes. This is my fucking space. And your energy is not allowed. You can, this is my room. You cannot bring your energy in here. Otherwise, you're going to be out. If you are not invited, you are out. And this is how it's gonna go. Go even more, even so more. What are the consequences? You bring in... You're gonna get kicked. Out. You're gonna get kicked out if you bring something to me that I I kick not you out for. I kick you out. I kick you out. I ask you out. Go. I decide. I decide when you're gonna be leaving. I'm. I'm gonna ask you to leave. These are the consequences. Jenny, will you get I'm up? I'm gonna ask you get up from the chair for a minute and put the boundary. This is your room now. And you put a boundary in your room. Go. This is my room, and you are not allowed in the space of your shit. Go. I need get out.
Go. I'm going to ask you to You are not welcome here. Yes. This is my space and you are abusing. you're crossing the boundary and you are asked right now to leave. Go unreasonable. Doesn't need to make sense. I hear you out. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm going to ask you to fucking live. You leave. You fucking leave my house. You fucking leave my room. You fucking leave my house. You fucking leave my space. You fucking leave me here. You don't bring this you fucking... fucked up emotion here. I don't need your fucked up emotion. I don't need your manipulation. I don't need your fucking abuse. Yes, yeah, speak to Princess me. I'm, I'm that... your mother. Speak to me. This is done. This is done. I don't need your manipulation. You yes. are out of it. You are out of it. You are so fucking out of it. Okay, close your mouth. Just let it circulate. And open your eyes so you can stay, stay in the boundary. Open your eyes so you know you're still keeping your boundary. Yeah. That was great. How does it feel? Empowering. Feels good. Feels good to establish boundaries. Feels to say what you need and what you did. So when you say feel good, which feeling are you talking about? Anger and joy. So I hear you feel joy and anger about putting boundaries when you need to. Yes. Okay. Yes. What's the boundary about the relationship you, with your friend? You don't have to act it. Just tell me what is the boundary now that you're deciding about? Don't think about it from your head. Your anger knows. I am, uh, I'm gonna. Don't start with I'm going not to. letting I myself. I'm not letting myself to be in a victim position. I'm not letting myself to spend my energy on the Jenny, I lost you for I'm a not letting myself to feel and imprisoned by. You lost me? Can you hear me? Yeah. I heard I'm not letting myself be a victim. I'm not letting myself. Feel in the swamp. I want to feel empowered by this relationship instead of grieving it. Instead of grieving it? In grieving it, I want to celebrate it. I want to. Um... Wait, Jenny, I'm going to stop you. When you're saying I want to, it's like this fantasy world about what maybe is going to happen. Mm 
So if you feel grief about the relationship, you need to grieve. If you feel angry about something, that is what you're angry about. So what you told me in the beginning, there is like fear also, it's like the same fear that if you, if you, uh, if you feel your feelings, there's going to be consequences that you're afraid, like the other person could get angry or other feelings at you. Yes. Or not being heard or not being um, receiving a feedback on my feelings and my emotions. So what's your new decision about that? In the context of the of this relationship that is old, but now it's a new relationship. I'm gonna celebrate it. Okay. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna create a new relationship where where i can celebrate my new age of this friendship and find find the things to be happy about instead of things to fear Okay, so I, in, in this decision, I hear there is a story that is not, that it's like only happiness is, is good in the relationship. So you're going to create a relationship where there is only happiness instead of things to fear. But then what happens if the, uh, if the person in front of you is having, is manipulating you? Then you need uh -huh. anger in the relationship. You need to put boundaries. Yes. So what yes. I think was missing for uh, you back then is to use all your feelings. You could not do it as a kid, but now you can do it in this new relationship. I can I can express now all my feelings and not be afraid for and and I can now express my feelings freely, not being afraid of certain of consequences. I know you will. I, I know you can do it, but will you? You said, I can express. If you say, I express. I will. I will. No, I will I, express my feelings freely. What about I express my feelings? I express my feelings. I express my feelings freely. I express sadness freely. I express my grief, my fear, my anger, and my Okay, I hear you. You express your feelings freely, your grief, your anger, and your joy. Yes. Do you want to practice that? Yes. Okay, what's your friend friend name? Jacopo. Okay, Jacobo. I'm going to play Jacobo and, and you could practice using this new decision with him to grieve or to, to share your joy or to share your anger, say what are your boundaries, what do you want, what you don't want. Okay, I'm going to play Jacobo. Yeah. Hello, Genia. Hello, Jacopo. Uh, I feel so sad that um, 
I feel sad that we are drifting apart. I also feel a lot of fear, but um, you are. But I'm being forgotten, but I don't anymore. And, um, but uh, you are moving on this connection that we had. And I'm angry, but I was not, I could not express my emotions. And I, I could not take, I'm angry, I could not even hold space for your anger. And, um, and I do want to hear validations. Uh, for what this connection means to you. Um, and I need a little more than just a here in space. I also want to give the feedback. I want to talk about that and not understand where we are and how we feel. Um, I feel fear, but I don't know how you feel. And I'm a, I'm, I have a fear of asking. I have a fear of hearing. And I feel angry, but you have violated my space with your emotions when I didn't know how to deal with it. And I feel sadness because I miss having you in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. That was great. I really felt the, the connection there. And I, it felt very authentic. And I, I, felt, I felt my sadness. And it really worked the way you did it. And you said what you wanted. And you shared your sadness. Your, I was missing one thing like we did before you said i'm angry that you violated my space just in the end but you didn't say uh -huh. the boundary so the boundary doesn't need to be big like last time because the connection is already there so you can say like like a little boundary or distinction like next time when you come into my space check in with your feelings or emotions and if if you have uh, if you have react reactivity or if you have em emotions that are not checked, I'm gonna let you know. And if you're not gonna stay connected with these emotions and take care of them, you're not staying in my space, and this friendship is over. Something, or if you do it two times, this friendship is over. Um, or or it can be more simple. It's like you don't violate my space with your emotions. Next time you do it, this relationship is over. I miss you, I love you, but it's it's not working for me. Okay. I'm angry. For the emotions that you're bringing unsolicited. I want you to be checking in with yourself, with your emotions, when you're gonna be bringing them to me. And I want you to be 
mindful of how you express yourself. No, be the, you're saying, I want you to be, that's an expectation. He's mm. probably going to let you down if you have this expectation. Yes. So instead saying, what's your boundary? What about you? It's not about him. Like in my space, you don't. In my space, in my space, you don't bring your emotions unsolicited. And in my space, I want to receive the feedback on my emotions. I want to receive an answer when I'm communicating to you instead of just being observed and listened to. Okay, you mix the boundary with what you want. The what uh -huh. you want part, you're doing yes. great. Just the, what is the boundary? It's like a boundary and a result of the boundary. What happens if you cross your boundary? So in my space, you don't use your emotions unresponsibly. If you don't take care of your emotion in my space, the result is that you're out of my space and this relationship is over. Like that's the result. Yes. Okay. And, and I want All you right. to- All really right, in my space? the way you would say it to him like don't do like the pm right way to say it to me just like connect yeah. to that thing that is really here like energetically yes yes in my space in my space you are in my space oh god like this is just such a huge block it's insane I, I feel handicapped but, but doing basic boundaries. But, cool. That's crazy. In my space, I'm not allowing emotions that are not conscious. I'm not inviting the energy that I'm not asking for. Cool. I'm not inviting unconscious emotions. If you're bringing your energy that I'm not inviting when I'm going to ask you out and this relationship is over. Take it in. That was great. That mm. was... I'm happy it was recorded. That was a great example for putting a boundary. Yeah, yeah, great work. Thank and, you, thank you, Dor. Yeah, and you know, at the beginning you said, oh my God, I have this, uh, you can, that was your joy and you can use your joy with the anger to set a boundary. So yes. the way you yes. did it was, was great. And you can also do it like, hey man, you know, I love you. But next time you're bringing this shit, I'm gonna kick you out. Like it's not working for me. I really love our relationship, but listen, you do it. You're you cannot keep doing it. Like, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. But it, it's just the practice of being able to just simply set up boundaries. That's shocking. I have it disabled. Not shocking, I guess. Yeah, we have this all these stuck emotions that prevented us from putting boundaries, but because when we like like what happened to you, we went really deep into this when you were eleven, and you could not put a boundary because it was risk to your life to put a boundary to yes. your mother with all their extreme emotions. So it's so I'm, yes. I'm not surprised. It's hard for us to put boundaries. Yes, yes. Oh. But you did great, Jenya. We, we went really deep and you felt all these emotions and feelings and you, you used them. And thank you. Thank you for going there and, and doing this emotional healing process. Thank you so much for holding space and thank you for going deep with me. 
I appreciate your patience, your compassion, your sensitivity and your intuition and for guiding me through all this jazz and um, for, for all your effort and your complete investment. Thank you. I really felt held, supported, and most importantly, also, I was given possibilities. I feel like I could let you lead me in something that I was not able to navigate quite by myself. And I was able that you were, I, I'm so glad to hear, I'm, I'm so glad that you were so intuitive and you were able just to navigate through the darkness of my thoughts and what I'm trying to say and suggesting um, possibilities of things for us to do. Thank you. Thank you for your appreciation and feedback. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jenya. So I, I sense that this space is getting into completion. Do you need anything else? right now um no no i think i'm gonna uh sit with the discoveries i have made and uh yes and stay with the feelings stay with emotions but i but i just got to go so deep in and yes thank you so much door yeah thank you you great work like you really you really went for it and it's it's not easy to to go to these stuck emotions. So, and you know when mm -hmm. you're doing this work, you don't only heal yourself; you heal the morphogenic field of the universe, of the world. So, you create healing in the world. You change the energy. So, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you for asking for this emotion healing process. And keep going. You're doing great. Great work. So, just thank make you. sure. Yeah, just make sure you're you're drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. This transformation work is is tiring, and you need to drink a lot and rest. And just be kind to yourself in the next few days. And mm -hmm. just right now, for after this healing process, taking like half an hour and don't drive anywhere, or don't do yes. anything like very crazy with your body. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to stay put and uh, just take it in and not move anywhere. Okay, Jenya. Thank you. I'll send you. I, I wrote some notes. I'll send you and, and let me know if there is anything coming up, any anything you want to share, you know, emotions or anything like that. I'm here. So feel free to. Thank you so much, Tor. Yes, yeah, so I'm afraid like this is kind of like a process, you know, like uh, like an onion, you know, it's there's just so many layers that I keep trying to work on, but like this just keeps coming back to me up until it's up until like last night, I felt like, how can I do an HP on that? Because I can't even communicate like the whole the whole story but I guess I, I don't need to. I can speak in emotions and I can speak in feelings. And um, um, my friend encouraged me to, like, also to get in an EHP. It's uh, potentially not one, there's potentially many, but um, I'm glad I was able to put the first stone in this uh, healing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and I hear your joy from, from it. So that's the way to do it. Like just enjoy it, don't try to, there's all like there's so many layers. It's not about like finishing all the layers and be a healed woman. It's like mm -hmm. just enjoy doing one by one and you solve the next piece of the puzzle. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for holding space. Thank you for uh, helping me put this foundation. Right. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Jenia. Take care. See you. Thank you.